welcome everybody. In this episode, we're going to set up our hit indicator UI. So to start, let's open up base blueprints, create a new folder, and let's call this UI. Open this up and let's get a user interface widget blueprint and select user widget and let's call this hit indicator. Open this up and just dock this. And how we're going to have it is red appear on the screen for a split second. So first we need a canvas panel. We're going to need a canvas panel. And the next thing we need is going to be an image. And this image will allow us to change its color and opacity. So anchor it to the whole screen. So no matter the size of the window, it will fill the whole screen. And let's change this offset to 0 and 0. Next, let's have its color to be something like red. And next, what we need is in our animations, let's create a new animation and call this hit track. In here, let's track the image. So image 33. And what we want is for it to start at 0 opacity in the beginning. So let's track it to render opacity and let's put it to zero and then just track this. So let's have its duration to be 0.25 seconds and then let's track it again, making sure its render opacity is zero. At 0 0.1, let's set the render opacity to one and track this. So if we play, it's just a short moment of red on the screen. And let's just have it actually be still a bit transparent at its peak. And let's make sure we track that so the user can see. There we go. So now I'll compile this, save, and in the graph, we actually need a way to tell it to play the animation. And we want it to play the animation when this widget is spawned. So let's just type play it. animation. And the animation to play is going to be our hit track. Plug this in. And then we want it to destroy after this track has played. So we want the widget to be removed. So we can do this by get end time. And the end time is just going to plug into a delay. So the duration of the delay is just going to be how long that is the end time of our animation. Then after this, just get removed from parent. So what's happening is when the UI hit indicator is spawned, play its animation, and then have a delay for the time length of the animation, then remove it from its parent after. Compile and save. And now we need a way to cool this UI hit indicator to play and in our character let's find our damage and each time the event any damage occurs let's just drag this to the side and play our hit indicator So let's just create widget and drag this to the side. The widget to play is going to be hit indicator and then just add to viewport and then plug it in. So now if we just make this a bit neater. So now if we compile and save and test this out. <laughs> it's working as it should. And one thing we might want also is just a sound effect for indicating we are hit. So we can do this by play sound 2D 
So play sound two D, and we want a we want it to be hit. Player get hit. So compile and save, and let's play once more. <laughs> And one thing we might do as well is in our game mode base, so GMFEZ, let's just increase zombie damage by something like 4 or make it 5. So that's it for this episode. We're going to get a little UI for our death.